My name is Rob Buffett. I was diagnosed with bowel cancer just about six years ago just now. I was 59 at the time. I'm a physical education teacher and then a professional rugby coach. So I feel as though my life I've been involved in sport and I've always been pretty fit. But around about that time, about six years ago, I was having ball movements were a bit different. I was having to go to the toilet a bit more often. Never thought anything sinister at all. What eventually then happened was I was helping Romania rugby at the time. I was helping coach them. I was out in Romania and I had a bad day out there and I kind of thought, nah, something just not right here. Then when I came back home, it was just the time that I got another test, a bowel screening test. I sent it away. It came back and said we'd do another one. So I sent that back and then I got an appointment to go to the hospital. Luckily the hospital that, that we use is about a mile from here, so you can walk to it. So I went there, got a colonoscopy. The doctor who did it right away thought there was something wrong because he, he, he could see the tumour and he thought there was something not right, which turned out to be a, a tumour and they said pretty quickly it was cancerous. So, you know, that was a bit of a shock. I, the way I look at it is far worse for, for my wife Sue than it was for me. It's very, very difficult for her in that situation, I think. Anyway, very quickly, two surgeons at the Borders General Hospital, but very quickly um, they, they got me organised and I was in there probably within a month, I would say. Uh, had the operation, I wasn't in hospital for too long. Mm -hmm. And, and I've made a, a really good recovery. But I think the way I look at it uh, is that I'm, I'm very lucky. They caught me pretty quick. I maybe could have gone to my doctor a bit earlier because I had a bit of blood in my poor and my stool. And you know, that's, you know, that's a telltale sign that something's not right. But I, it wasn't as if it were on for too long, but I should have gone quicker to my doctor and get it looked at. But, you know, I've, I've, I'm lucky I've made a really good recovery. Everybody's different, but I was pretty fit, which helped me. As I say, I wasn't in hospital for long. And as soon as I was out, I was walking. We live in a really nice part of, part of the world, so it's easy to get out and do walks here. So I was out doing short walks. My main concern was just getting back to normal. I wanted to run because I like running and, and, and do that. And I got back to that within a few months. I said 12 weeks you'd be back to, to normal, which which I was. So I thank the, the National Health Service and these two surgeons especially for looking after me so well. My wife for having a bit of patience. So for me, I would say to, to anybody, if, if you've any blood in your stool or any symptoms at all, go to your doctor right away. And when, when you're over 50 in Scotland, I think it's still 60 in England, when the test comes through the door, do it. Don't put it in a drawer, just do it and send it back right away because, you know, there's over 90% you'll be okay if, if you're grade one, which I was, but it goes down to be 8% or 10% if you're grade four, so your chances then are not so good. I think I'm one of the very lucky ones. I ran the, the London Marathon two years after. I'm, I'm expecting now is always 30 years ago, I think. So um, I'm, I'm probably a good story. So. Anybody who's listening to this who is going through bowel cancer, just have a really strong spirit and uh, hopefully you'll get there. Okay, thanks very much.